welcome back welcome back okay what well, we're getting ready to make today okay we are going to make my chicken stir fry i'm using this one aside from the other one that i normally use which is pretty much the same thing it's just that this is the only one i could find in the store so this is my grilled chicken okay we are going to use these noodles here okay all right, and I will be using both packages. You see two packages, two packages of that. We're going to be using both packages, both packages. And then I don't know if I want to use a second package on this one, my little steamable um, Asian medley little vegetables here. I may use both of them. I don't know yet. It depends on how much is in this package. Okay, we shall see. And the seasonings that we're going to use is we're going to use this basil, garlic salt, we got to make everything with the queen. So Mrs. Dash, we're gonna use some ground ginger, sesame seed oil, and some extra virgin olive oil. Now, if you don't have these two items, that is fine. The sesame seed oil and the ginger, you can still make this dish without it. I don't wanna tell you to go out to the store and buy all these things that you don't normally use because you may not use it again, okay? And we're not trying to waste money. So if you don't have the ginger and you don't have the sesame seed oil, it's definitely going to make a difference, especially not having the sesame seed oil. It's going to make a little bit of a difference, but that's okay. And I didn't put it out here. I just realized I didn't put it out, but we're going to be using some soy sauce as well, okay? All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to get things moved to the side, get things ready, okay? This is what we're using today, all right? And I'll be right back. All right, the first thing we're gonna do for our stir fry, and I have a wok, but I know a lot of people don't, so I'm just gonna show you how to do this in a regular pan, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is always get your pan starting with the heating process. We're gonna put this over a medium high heat. In with the olive oil, because we are going to saute our chicken. Okay, there's one bag. There is two bags, and this is going to be another one of those cases where as it's cooking, we're going to be breaking it up to make it more bite-sized pieces. Okay, so we're going to go in with our flavors. There is our basil. Okay, this is going to be our ground ginger that I'm putting in now. And it doesn't take a whole lot, but ginger makes a big, big difference. So like I said, if it's not one of those flavors, though, that you're not going to be using on a regular basis, don't go out and buy it. Just season it up with your normal seasonings, whatever seasonings that you normally use. This is our garlic salt. And this will be the last time and only time that we're going to flavor this meat. And then we're going to go in with the queen, Mrs. Dash. Okay, and I'm not going to put in the soy sauce and the sesame seed oil just yet, okay? And like I said, this is going to be the only time that we are going to season this meat. We're going to just let it saute up, get all those flavors of cooking on that meat, and then I'll come back once we've got this all. Remember what I said about breaking it up as you go? Just break it on up. Okay, just like that. Just break it up. Remember to use your wood utensils or your silicone on this because I don't know about you, but I don't like tearing up my Teflon. I want my non-stick to stay stick, to stick when it don't need to and stick when it don't need to. So use your wood utensils or your um, silicone, whichever you use, plastic. As long as you're not using metal. Don't use metal on metal. It's, it's not never good for your... your your um, cookware okay so I'm just going to continue to keep breaking these up while they're cooking and then once I get this all cooked up broke up I'm gonna come back and show you the next step so this is actually going to cook for about 15 minutes with me staring and breaking and I'll come back all right okay so what I'm getting ready to do is do the one thing I did forget to show you now you know how much I love this item if I can get it open, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me get it open. Hold on. All right. It didn't want to open for me, but we got it open. Garlica. 
We forgot to put garlic in here. So two hating spoonfuls, okay? We gotta have garlic. Everything tastes better with a little garlic in it. So I'm gonna continue to keep cooking this. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes. We're gonna give it another 10, okay? I'll be back. All right, we're back. I've let this cook for 15 minutes. As you can see, how much it's cooked down, how I've cut up the pieces. So now we're finna start the next process. Let's see if you can see in this bag. I want you to see how much is not in this big old bag. Can you see that? Which is why I need two. See, that's it, that's one bag. That's why you need two of these, and that's the Asian medley. And you can absolutely use whatever you choose to. This is what I choose to use. And with that, I am going to go ahead and add some of my sesame seed oil. And this stuff is very strong. Very, 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 very strong, okay? And when I say very strong, a little bit goes a long way. We're just going to do one round around the pot, okay? Well, okay, two. We're going to do three. We're going to do four. All right. So we did more than what I expected. But whatever. It'll be just fine. Okay? That looks good by itself, doesn't it? We're going to add some soy sauce. Okay. That was more than enough. All right. And then there's one last ingredient, and our stir fry will be done. You hear me? You can absolutely add mushrooms in this. Mushrooms would just really just, oh, okay. So a can of mushrooms. Will be great in this if you got some I do but I'm not because again this is something my children are gonna eat and I make things the way they're gonna eat it which is the same thing you should do make it the way your kids like it the most they will eat it with the mushrooms without a doubt so now here we go in with the noodles you just kind of break them up as you're dropping them in there just break them up Okay, that's one bag and two bags. You get two bags in a package, which is why I bought two because I'm going to use all four packages. Okay, you absolutely do not. You can cut this in half by only using one of the chicken, one of the veggies. You can definitely cut this in half. But my kids and my, they're going to eat on this a little bit longer than just one day. But if you wanted to do just one day, that's fine. Make it from scratch, cut everything in half. All right, so we're going to break these noodles all up in here. Uh-oh. All right, we're going to break these up in here. Mix it up a little bit. And I'm going to get the next batch in. And at this point, I've turned the heat on low. The heat is on low because even the chicken is done. Everything is done. I put the veggies in the microwave and let them cook so everything is done we're just mixing everything together and letting everything get all merry and fall in love okay so we're just going to mix this up at this point get that stuff from the bottom get it on up there to the top and this is all we're going to do and this meal is done i let this simmer for five minutes again like i said so all the flavors can just fall in love with each other and then I'm going to plate this up and let you see what it looks like, okay? And this is it. Done. We are done. Okay? I'm going to put it on a plate, show you what it looks like. I'll be back. Look what we've done yet again. This is going to be my chicken stir fry. Look at that. No time at all. This is uh, doesn't take 30 minutes to make. 
look, we did it again. Things made easy with Gigi, right? All right. Subscribe and like for more. Feel free to share. Our goal here is our first goal, our first milestone that we're looking for. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Okay? Once we get there, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll start with a hundred. Once I get a hundred, we'll do a giveaway. We get 200, we'll do another giveaway. 300, another giveaway. So let's try to get to that hundred and let's start giving stuff away. Okay? All right? So come on, like, subscribe, and share. Plenty more videos to come. Plenty more ideas your way. Quick, easy, simple dinner ideas. Come on back for more. All right? Things made easy with Gigi. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.